Hello again, Tabletop Warriors, and welcome back to the Play Den. My name's Tony, and if this is the first time you're joining us, welcome. This is my channel where we explore the 40K universe, and in this video series, we do it one model at a time. Today's model, Chaos Bikers. Are they still good in 8th edition, or does the fact that you can't make them tough in the 6 make them unviable in this format? We're going to answer this question and a couple others in this video. Let's go hands on. Cast bikers. So I built these guys when Trader Legions came out, and I wanted to have a biker gang of Tough Six Nurgle bikers to terrorize Imperium's version of White Suburbia. Unfortunately, I went on deployment. GW made Eighth Edition, and no more Tough Six bikers. They kind of uh, did that Bronx tail scene on my bikers. Anyway, I wanted to use these guys in an army to see if they're still worth it a couple of things i wanted to point out one is the renegade chapter legion trait so units with this trait can advance and charge in the same turn so that means these guys infantry units and hell brutes if they're the renegade chapter they can advance and charge in the same turn now going back to their entry they have a 14 inch movement and they automatically get the six inch advance instead of rolling the dice and if you roll a seven on your which is the average roll on your charge that's a 27 inch charge range i think that's pretty good additionally they have two wounds as opposed to one that they had in seventh edition now they are toughness five and there's really not much ways you can get them to toughness six but they are weapon skill three and ballistic skill three they were four in seventh edition also in seventh edition they were 80 or 70 points base when you add the six points per model for the Nurgle, that takes it up to 88 points for three of them. In this edition, there are 75 points for three of them, and that's with the chainsword and the bolt pistol and the combi bolter on the bike. You can still add your, your plasma pistol, power sword. Uh, you can make a chaos lord with lightning claw and power fist still. You can add different uh, weapons to the bikes, the multi-melta. Um, so all those options are still there and their ballistic skill weapon skill three I think that's pretty good if you're making a fast moving kind of alpha strike army so I envision taking these guys maybe with another detachment of say blow drones or something that moves fast that draws a lot of attention if you had three blow drones they draw a lot of attention so given that they're cheaper you can, you, you can put more of them on the board. I think that the ability to charge within 27 inches is a great alpha strike ability. They do have two wounds. I know that mortal wounds are always a something you think about in 8th edition because uh, they seem to be handing them out like candy to everybody. But with the two wounds, I think it gives them a little more survivability. Uh, hitting on that 3 plus ballistic skill, weapon skill, I think is a pretty good improvement and you can take up to nine bikers in a unit so tell me what you guys think um please comment down below give me your thoughts on if you use these guys what kind of strategies you're using in your armies how are they working out for you are you doing things differently than i was talking about here is there something that i'm not i'm not seeing um, but again i think from an alpha strike uh, perspective I think these guys could be pretty good I'm certainly going to put an army together and uh, get it on the battlefield and we'll see how it goes all right to answer the question are chaos bikers still good in eighth edition I believe they are good they're not great so remember you get that 27 inch possible charge range uh, you can put them with a chaos Lord you get that tactic where you get to move advance automatic six inches and charge um, they just errated the demon prince as i'm making this conclusion in this uh, video they actually errated the demon prince for the chaos space marines book and he gets it too so hell brutes infantry bikers and the demon prince all get that special rule where they can charge the same turn they advanced in which is a big deal so if you have a fast moving army and you want to add a screen of bikers in to cause some chaos in the back line i think they're great you can put meltas on them you can put plasmas on them um, and they can cause a lot of quick 
damage. Um, remember, two wounds plus three uh, weapon skill and ballistic skill. So I don't think they're great, but I think they're good and I think they're viable in the right army if you set it up correctly. Please don't forget to like this video, comment down below and tell me what you thought, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos from the Plague Den. Until next time, this is Tony saying to win all your battles in life and on the tabletop.